Welcome to GC Cars, my name is Eric and today we're going to take a night, well not really night, it is night, but city PUV test drive uh, in this 2021 Buick Envision Avenir and um, yeah, this city PUV test drive, normally we do this during the day but it's, it's been just been really busy this week we're going to take it for a little spin here around Toronto and um, yeah, kind of see how nice the drivetrain is and how smooth it is let's uh, quickly open the trunk because we usually do that in the city PV test drive. I don't know if you can see much in there. Probably not, but we'll try it once. Uh, we'll try it nonetheless. Okay. And um, yeah, I have two other PV test drives. One on the highway where we test the assist systems and one at night outside of the city where we test the high beams and the LED lights. So um, yeah, I would say we go drive. Sorry that it's so filthy, but it's been super cold and super bad weather in general. So unfortunately nothing I can do about that. And if you want to hear all my thoughts about this Envision, click in the top right hand corner for my full review. Without further ado, let's go hop in and drive. It's probably going to play music, is it? Heated seats, heated steering wheel, turn down the AC a little. We got our digital rear view mirror, which is always nice. And um, yeah, I would say we get driving. Down here are the buttons. Um, quick look maybe at the interior for you guys. Looks pretty nice here in the Avenir trim. Now let's get going. I'm not gonna talk all that much during this POV test drive. We're probably gonna do a very brief acceleration run, but I also wanna give you the chance to kind of listen to how it is to drive this Envision instead of just only seeing it. Forgot his lights. <laughs> All right, I think he's on his way to. Oh, never mind. I thought he was about to turn on his emergency lights. Oh well. Anyhow, let's turn to the right lane, and then we're going to do a little acceleration run. We're going to press the mode button down here, and we have tour, all-wheel drive, sport, and off-road. Normally drive in two, which gives us two wheel drive because, well, it's not really that bad of a condition right here. It's actually pretty good conditions. We don't really need all wheel drive, can save the fuel. But Sport gives us all wheel drive and just kind of tightens everything up a little bit. Let's slow her down, 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 and let's go. Okay. And that was a short acceleration run. We have a full one in both the night PV test drive as well in the full as well as in the full review wanted to see if it's possible to enable the cameras on screen because some cars let you do it for like a couple of seconds.
fun road to test the suspension of cars, which is why I like driving here in POV test drives because it's pretty bumpy, as you can tell. road is significantly faster at night <laughs> when we usually do it uh, during the daytime so sorry if there wasn't that much stop and go but we had a few red lights so it should be fine you should have seen what you probably wanted to see and like I said we always have the full on review if you want to have my in-depth thoughts So let's uh, just wait here for a second and end the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's put it to park. Thank you. Uh, we're going to let the engine run because it's just going to be a few seconds. Please don't honk at me if I do this. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Anyhow. Um, yeah. The full review should be somewhere on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. We upload re reviews and videos every single week about everything from budget cars to luxury cars to trucks and sports cars. You name it. And um, yeah, if you like videos and the cars, subscribe. On that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.